Here are four things I would encourage you to do during the time off right now. Number one, go to Track Wrestling and listen to all the interviews of, you know, Cale Sanderson, John Smith, uh, Thomas Gilman, all the top wrestlers and coaches. They're giving their secrets away if you will just listen. Take a piece of paper, write down the top three or four or five things that you learned from these guys or gals, and then you start to then go back at your list and look for the common themes and say, do I do that or do I not? Should I start doing that? Is that my problem? Uh, you can start to start to, to, to take those and they become tools now. A lot of the reason you lose wrestling isn't because of a, a move or a lack of a technique. It's because of your mind and your head. Secondly, look at five or ten of your close matches. Get a piece of paper. Do a scouting report on yourself. Look for strengths and weaknesses. Try to look for 20 strengths and 20 weaknesses. Look at your top five or ten close matches. Do a scouting report on yourself. That creates the self-awareness so that you can start to um, <clears throat> move forward. Look at some of the top famous wrestlers. Some of you young guys, you never watched Dave Schultz. Watch Kenny Monday. Watch John Smith. Um, watch Bruce Baumgartner. Watch some of these guys. Watch some of the Russians. Um, uh, Bella Glossoff won like 10 world titles. Fedzai have won about 10 or 12. Um, then you've all seen the Kyle Dake and Jordan Burroughs matches. You know, those are still good, obviously. But look at some of these other, other athletes. Look at... Uh, you know, Stefan Mishik, look at Ali Reagan and, and uh, her, her, her big matches. Maybe some of the Russians. Just look at the results from like, you know, um, the, the world championships of 2016, 17, 18, 19. <clears throat> and watch some of those Iranians and watch some of the top Russians who have won two and three world titles. Go to Wikipedia and see their bios and say, oh, that dude's won four world titles in a row. I'm going to watch some of his matches or her matches. And maybe spend a little bit of time looking at what the experts do, right? There's a, I, I learned years ago, this guy, I was reading a book. He says, I'm extremely wealthy. People ask me for two things. They ask me for a loan and they ask me for a job. He goes, nobody ever asked me how I got to be so damn rich. So I'm asking you to look at some of these great wrestlers and say, how come they're so good? What can I learn from them? Number four, I would develop, uh, I would study the sports psychology side of wrestling. Just look at the top three or four books on sports psychology and get the books, buy them, get the book on tape, listen to them, and kind of immerse your brain and, you, and you'll start to see these common themes. And once again, we talk about common themes. That's what we're always looking for. And do you, do those common themes relate to you? Do you see those common themes in your thinking and your wrestling and your warm up? Uh, you know, but just Google the or look look at YouTube and the TED Talks. There's a lot of books there, or rather speakers there on you know overcoming performance anxiety, how to pull a tr the trigger, how to how to uh, stomp out self doubt, how to be more motivated, uh, overcoming performance anxiety, how to win more and immerse yourself just one hour a day 30 minutes a day and you find a couple of these books on tape or talks on youtube that can really help you and um and, and, and mark those and then listen to those over and over and over but those four things you can do to help your wrestling during this downtime it's only a downtime from not being on a wrestling mat with 50 other people it doesn't necessarily have to be downtime oh number five Stance in motion. You should do 10 minutes of stance in motion every night, seven days a week. You should do that year round anyway. And uh, not stance in motion where you're moving around really fast. Stance in motion where you're always pretend Jordan Burroughs is getting ready to shoot on you. And do stance in motion like that. Circle left, circle right, fake left, fake right, sprawl left, sprawl right, take a shot, down block. Those are the, the five stance in motion uh, tactics. Do those things. You'll have some big success. Good luck.